going on Facebook? Welcome to my page, um, Camp House Barbecue Company. I appreciate everybody, all the support so far. I just got started uh, with the page. Go on Facebook, I got a Facebook page now and the YouTube channel. A um, little bit about myself, my name is Eric. I'm from a small town in Asherton, Texas. Um, way down between Eagle Pass, Laredo, right in between. There's a stoplight, you blink, you miss it. Um, but um, I'm gonna bring you along on this journey. I've uh, been cooking for a few years now um, at the house and I just started competitively in the IBCA. Um, third, I've done three, uh, three runs on there and I love cooking at it. I love cooking for my family, I love cooking for friends, I love cooking for everybody. Um, it's just a good time to have fun with your friends and family and camaraderie and, and talk about anything, you know, anything around a, a barbecue pit and smoked meats, it sounds for a good day. Hey, on today I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna do some uh, some burgers, some uh, camp house burgers. But today um, I've got some buffalo hamburger, fresh buffalo. Um, I do uh, part-time, I'm a hunting guide, and um, I have guide for whitetail, exotics, hogs, and all that stuff. And I had a hunter, he came by and he harvested a buffalo with me, um, and he was only able to, to uh, transport half of it back, but I was able, he, he went ahead and gave it to me, so I, was, I took the half of it and uh, I took it to our local butcher and uh, had it all ground buffalo and I got some, um, some chili out of it and stuff. But for the most part, I got a lot of buffalo hamburgers, so I'm gonna put some. Uh, I'm gonna put some buffalo hamburgers together for y'all, and uh, I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. Like I say, this is all personal preference. Um, if it helps somebody um, to do something different on their recipes, or maybe y'all can share something different with me. But this is the way I like to do it, and um, um, y'all come along. I'll show y'all the process. Uh, like I said, today we'll have the buffalo. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I bought some of this HEB small batch uh, pit masters uh, bacon. It's some thick cut bacon. So we're gonna grill some, make some uh, bacon cheeseburgers. And for the cheese, I bought this Munster. And probably I, I uh, murdered that name, but I had one of these burgers with this cheese at home. I mean, at work the other day, and it was it was off it was off the chains, guys. It was good. If y'all get a chance, y'all try this one out. And of course, some sliced pickles. Um, we'll put some Worcestershire sauce in the mix, maybe some seasoning, salt and pepper. I don't know what I'm going to go crazy on it today, but I'll show y'all as I'm going along. And of course some mayo. I'm not going to, probably not going to put no veggies on here. We're going to go straight carnivore, carnivore hamburger. So y'all stick along and, uh, and, uh, I'll take y'all through the process. Um, uh, today's cook, we're going to be cooking these buffalo burgers on my, uh, UDS, uh, mini drum. So um, I'll take y'all out there right now. We'll go get that, uh, get a chimney lid, get, get that uh, basket set up on the UDS. It's a mini UDS. I use it as my chicken cooker, but I use it to grill and stuff. And uh, I'll be putting in some uh, so the grill grates that I got for that, uh, that UDS mini. It's um, for that grill, it's a 55 gallon drum, but of course it's half of it, so it's a mini drum. And then I bought the, the grill grates, the 22 and a half inch Weber grill grates because they fit in there perfectly. Y'all see that when I get out there. But uh, like I said, grill grates are great. I'm not, not indoors. Like I said, I'm just getting out. I'm not indoors by anybody. I'm not doing anything. But grill grates are awesome, guys. My kids use them at their pork chop competitions and I use them to grill fajitas and steaks and all that stuff. This is the first time I'm going to do hamburgers on grill grates, but I have done hamburgers on regular grates and it's a mess. I mean, it's kind of hard to get under there and flip them burgers and stuff, but we're going to go out there and we're going to get that UDS lit and uh, bring it up to temp. And then I'll set my grill grates on there and, um, and then we'll go ahead and finish the process of making our patties and then going out there and setting them on the, on the grates. All right. So right now, all you see me guys, all I'm doing is just uh, layer it. I have a layer of some lump charcoal on the bottom. I'm going to add some BNB charcoal just on the bottom layer. You know, and I'm just gonna, it's, it's all it is, just a light layer. Them UDS are, um, they, they, they hold heat a lot faster than anything else. So I'm just gonna put a light layer of BNB charcoal and I'm just moving, moving them around. I like to move them around and make a little indention in the middle to layer my chimney and put my chimney in right in the middle. So with that, I like to put whatever, I, right now I'm putting one stick of uh, pecan and one stick of post oak and that's all i'm doing that is all i'm doing and then i'm gonna lid it up all right guys um so i've got let me put my last packet of <clears throat> i 
And when I when I took it to the to my local butcher guys, they went ahead and they added some beef talon, I believe that's what it is, to mix it in with it because you know I mean the buffalo's a little lean, but I had to mix some beef talon in there just to give us a little bit of that beef uh, beef uh, texture uh, richness with the fat in there just just to help it out a little bit. But other than that, it, it's straight buffalo. Now y'all can substitute this for you know whatever it is y'all want to do okay it doesn't necessarily just have to be this um y'all could substitute it for you know your beef your turkey whatever because i know buffalo is crazy i mean i didn't know how much buffalo was on the market till i got it back home and i started looking at how much the pound per buffalo is at an heb or anything like that it's pretty high guys so i mean i was blessed and fortunate to be able to have this here and uh, you know we use it at the house we eat a lot of wild game around at the house you know um deer exotics whatever you know we i mean we hunt a lot we fish a lot so we you're, you're going to be seeing a lot of wild game and um other part other animals or other meats that we might use in our cooking processes but i'm going to go ahead and form these patties or not form them i'm going to mix them and then let them sit in the season a little bit while i'll go and uh, go outside and do my uh, i normally like to uh I'm gonna put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in here. Nothing too crazy, guys. Just, just to get that enhanced flavor of anything. But we want more, more of the buffalo flavor. But normally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna season them, mix them. Don't mix them too much because you don't want to get it too hard. You want to keep it, you know, still the texture of, of the ground. But uh, we'll go outside. And normally, I like to do my bacon first, and then. You know, everybody knows that bacon fat makes everything better. So I'll go ahead and I'll grill the bacon on the grill grates, and then I'll come ahead and then I'll set my set my uh, my patties on top of the grill grates. Um, I was gonna use salt and pepper, but today, you know, I'm running late. You saw me earlier with my red shirt. My kids play baseball games today at six o'clock, so I'm trying to get these out. We got a storm, uh, thunderstorm rolling in. I'm trying to hurry up and get these out so when the kids get home from school, they'll be ready to eat and we'll eat, get dressed, and head out to the ballpark. Um, so I'm trying to um, And I'm going to um, let them sit in the seasoning. Like I said, I don't want to work them too much. I'm just going to season them a light, you know, just a light massage, like they say. And then we're going to go take them outside. I'm going to go take y'all outside. We'll go grill the bacon, get that ready, get that set, and then we'll bring out the patties after we do the bacon. But, um... Today, you know, I decided, hey, might as well, if I'm going to do a good video, I'm going to do a video, I'm going to, let's season, let's use some of the stuff that I use, you know, my personal stuff that I like to use and uh, share it out there with the world and for y'all to enjoy also. This one is a local, local brand to where, where I live and to the area. This is a La Barbacoa Company, guys. This is good stuff. It's got cumin, salt, pepper. It's got a, a bunch of flavors and it pairs beautiful with beef. The Cow Whisper. This is some good stuff, guys. And I'm gonna use this as my first layer inside. And then when I come across and I'm gonna come to the top layer, once I form my patties to the other side, I like this one. I like the the, the Poco Loco from Dos Pendejos, guys. It gives it a, a, a red color, red tint to it. It's richness in flavors. It's flaky, it's peppery. It's a little bit of everything, like I said. They both pair great with beef, so I'm hoping that they'll pair really well with buffalo. So let's get to it, guys. Um, like I said, I'm gonna add a little bit of this one. And then I'm just gonna work it a little bit, guys. Just work it. I don't wanna overwork it. I don't wanna get it any tighter than it already is. It's just like it, man, you can smell the cumin off that cow whisper. Good stuff. So I'll do a little bit of that. Just work it a little bit. Oh, couldn't have any bloopers without it on YouTube. Come on. And then I'll have some of my, for those of y'all that shop H-E-B, this is the best Texas tea H-E-B can sell. There we go. Give it a little bit of that. Since I'm already, I already folded it a couple of times, I'm going to give it another little dash of just ordinary Worcestershire sauce. Probably murdered that one too. That's one of them tricky names. And then we'll go a little bit more of this cow whisper. And then fold it again. Like I said, I don't like to get too crazy on it. I don't want to get it any more tighter. That way that texture can stay there. I'll go ahead and 
Dash it a little more right in there. Now I'm gonna let this sit, guys. I'll let it sit. Let me wash my hands real quick. Now you can definitely feel that, feel that fatty texture in there from that beef talon that I had them add to this meat. You can definitely feel it in your hands. I try to wash my hands, you can definitely feel it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this, um, this uh, Pitmaster bacon that I got off of HEB. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my knife. Yeah, I gotta cut it more. So I'll go ahead and set this right here. And I wanna pull it out, guys. These, these things are extremely, extremely long. Or what I need them so I'll, what I'll do is I'm gonna cut them in half for what I need right now and then I'll reserve the rest for another cook for the burgers right now for the meantime half is gonna be perfect so I'll go ahead and cut half and I'll put the rest back what's cool about these things this pack right here guys it's resealable Wow you can smell the smokiness in there that's cool I've never, this is the first time trying this product, guys, from ATB. Sounds pretty good. Smells good. When you read it, it smells awesome. So I'll reserve this piece for another cook, for a later cook or something. But it's got this resealable bag, which is pretty cool. Put it in the freezer and put it in the fridge and use it for another one. Cook. So um, we'll take these outside right now, guys. And um, we'll go grill them. Bring them back inside, and then I'm gonna come for my patties, and then we'll go set those patties back out on the grill grates. All right, guys, so what I did, I had to open up a third valve, because I'm telling you, the kids just got home. Now my videos might get a little loud, guys, because I'm telling you, it's a working house. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a flip. Here's another good thing about that, those grill grates. They come with this spatula right here, it's perfect. It sets right in here. Like I said, my kids love it. They set in there. And you can sit in there and just grab what you need and flip. Like I said, I've never done the burgers, but I'm assuming it's gonna be awesome because I'm sure everybody's have had it. Everybody's have had that issue of flipping burgers on a regular grade. You try to scrape them and try to get in it and flip it and you lose half the patty on the grade on the bottom. Don't mind my rooster, like I said. We're, it's a working farm, working house, working everything. We got chickens, we, we get our own eggs. We got rabbits for our kids' shows. We got goats. There's puppies. One of our one of our gyps just had puppies, so you'll hear some puppies in the background. You'll hear a little bit of everything. The girls just went in the house. They're going to start. There's the rooster again. Um, the girls are going to start batting practice over there. Like I said, we have games here in a little bit. And, but um, I just did the first flip. They're starting to release some good fat on there. I'm gonna let them go. I said, open up the valve, left the, left the lid off to try to get it to get more heat in there. We're shooting it about, now we're about three, 296, 310 in some spots. They're a little bit hotter. But um, we'll get it going and then I'll check back up to you. Let me get these things, try to get them fry a little faster and then I'll come back with you. All right, guys, so I got the bacon outside. Just gave it one more flip. Came in here real quick to do the patties. What I normally like to do, and my kids sometimes hate it because the burgers are too big, but get a little ball, just a little meatball, just like this. Set it right there. Let me get another tray so I can put them on. tray and then I'll get to just your ordinary just the lid off of one of those Tupperware deals go ahead and get it on there use the back end push it down and there you go got your patty so we'll do over here grab another little handful there's Miley you gotta get under there though I don't know if they could see you that's Miley, that's one of my daughters, guys. You'll see them a lot. 
So you come right here, set it right here. Fold it, this is just your regular kitchen wax paper or whatever you want to call it. Just press down. Can you flatten them out? There you go. Makes it so convenient, makes it easy. Makes it clean up a lot easier. Set it right in there. Come on over with your wax paper. Get in there and squish. Right there. And I wish we had a... I'm going to get one. A flat top. Because, man, the flat top burgers are a different level, guys. Different level. They may not look pretty, guys, but... They'll be good. It's about 4.30, guys. So I'm, I think I'm doing all right on, on time. I hope I am. Squish it in there. All right, guys. So... What I'm going to do from here is, hold on, I'm going to do a couple more, I'm going to finish them off, I mean you've seen it one, you've seen it all, I'm not trying to make this video any longer than it is. Alright guys, okay, so, so I got six patties right now, I'm fixing to do a little bit more, but I want to show y'all, this is what I do with this other, the, the Poco Loco, dust it on top, like I say, it's got, it's got the peppery flakes on it. Salt, a little bit more coarse. Awesome, gives it good color, good red color. And um, we'll do the rest of them, and, and then we'll back over here. Them. Get closer. Bye. My Bye. daughter Elaine, you're gonna see a lot of her. She likes to help me cook, so she'll be around. You probably can't see her. Where's she at? There she is. She's shooting the grill. How hot is it? Hmm. Read it. What are the numbers? Keep on oh, just read the one you can see. All right, guys, she's at 286. All right, guys, we got 286. Bacon's about done. I'm going to put on the patty, so uh, give me in a bit. All right, guys, so I'm going to pull this bacon over, pick it, pull it off. Um, you can see I'm going to put in this little Tupperware thing. If you remember that, uh, that thing I was using for the patties, well, this is the lid to it. I have a lot of flies out here. It's a little to this. Like I said, anything you can use will help you out. And like I said, guys, you'll hear some chaos from the kids. We're a working family, a cooking family, a little bit of everything, guys. It's I'm truly blessed with five children. It's awesome. And they all like to cook. They all like to do something. But there's the lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these patties on real quick. There's seven of us in my family, guys, including my wife and my five children. But I always like to set a couple extra. My my folks live about the uh, next street over, so I always like to take them a little bit of a little bit of dinner or something for them not to uh, worry about dinner. So whenever during the week, as I got off, I work uh, eight days on, six days off. So I like to send them a little stuff out there. So there are the patties, guys. They're sitting in there. I'll um, I'll go ahead right now and I'll check back on the first flip, guys. 
I'm running right now. I'm running the BMB charcoal and of course just the one lump uh, or one uh, chunk of oak and pecan on here just for just for the smoke to give it a little flavor. But we'll check back here after the first flip. All right, guys. So we're on the first flip. First flip. Here we go. Telling you guys, the spatula alone makes it all worthwhile. I already got that one. Not much draw on it. Felt pretty good. First flip. Of course, if I had it a little hotter, then grilled grates probably would have marked a little higher because normally when we do the chops and steaks, we run it hotter and you get them indentures on it. But said, I'm running a little behind schedule. I'm trying to get Mama just got home. All the kids are home. The filming was quiet until now. It's going to get a madhouse, but we'll get it going. All right, guys. So I'm going to set this cheese on there. leave some without cheese but I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on for this one so that vortex not vortex but so that cheese can melt kind of acts like whenever you put that bowl on top of the the deal so it can melt let me do this too I'm the only one that likes toasted buns around here so I'm gonna put my bun right in there I'll come back in as soon as that stuff starts melting. It looks like it, I mean, it's not gonna take very long. Once again, this is that cheese I'm telling you about, guys. I'm not even gonna try to say it. I tried it earlier and it was like, what the heck? But good stuff, I liked it. Hopefully my family will like it. You can see how quick that cheese is starting to fold up. It's gonna be awesome. Need to get this cooked pretty quick because I need to turn this off, bring that thing out because I'm fixing to take it to get uh, refurbished, get redone, and I'm picking up another uh, another drum that I just got made tonight. I'm gonna pick it up. So I'm making some briskets. Uh, I'm making some briskets this weekend for my daughter's communion. So y'all stay tuned for that. I'm gonna put a video on that one too. So see that cheese just come right now. Go ahead and pull them out. Now on this, you don't want to go too, too, too much, you know, just that way they stay juicy a little bit. right there I think we should be good on these guys they don't take much I said I'm the only one that likes toasted bread around here so we'll go ahead and toast this and I'll take y'all back inside and let's plate this okay so we're done we're done so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put just a little mayonnaise like I said once again personal preference Got Elaine over here. She says she's hungry. They're ready to go. She has a game today. 
Go Reds, right? Mm -hmm. Go Reds. And Rangers. My son's got a game too, so. I ain't been able to watch him play much because of work. Two games. So, we'll set our bottom half. Right there. Put that right there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get one of these right across. It's across. Me personally, I like a little A1. center oh, and then we're going to put another one right across. I got my teacher next to me. Yeah. So, we're going to put the top and then we're done with and the then we're gonna done it and cap it off. There and it is guys. Well, Alright guys, so we got done. Recap. We mixed uh, the meat with the first layer was la barbacoa, the the, spa, the cow whisper, and then we layered the top with uh, the poco loco one, and then once we wasted, we put it on the mini drum on the grill grates, the 22 inch, 22 and a half inch. Like I said, I told y'all earlier, the videos were gonna get louder. This is a working house, working family. They're gonna get louder. I got all my kids behind. They just found out that I started a YouTube page, so they're fans of YouTube. So now they just found out I got a YouTube page, so <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. But the first layer was La Barbacoa, just to mix in it. Like I said, it's got, you can smell the cumin. If y'all haven't got your hands, see Mr. Benny Rocha out there, or uh, I'll, I'll uh, put the links in the, in the description box for La Barbacoa and for the Dos Pendejos. I'll put the links in the bottom. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and taste this. Let me get, uh, well, I got it right here. But yeah, we seasoned it up, put it on the mini drum, cooked it about 325, 350 on the grates. Uh, we cooked the bacon first so we can get that fat on top. And uh, then we put in our, our, our patties sitting on top, on top of that grates. And then they, they took about maybe 20, 20 minutes. So now we got our burger set up. All we did on that burger was just layered it with a little bit of mayonnaise, um, some A1 on top, just personal preference guys and pickles, that was it. No veggies, but the pickles, just so we got the carnivore carnivore meat. That's it, carnivore burger. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out and see what it looks like. So, looks pretty good. We got the bacon, that thick cut bacon. Uh, it was that thick cut bacon from the Pit Masters, uh, Pit Masters, uh, Pit Masters bacon. So, let's give it a try. That's pretty good, guys. You can taste the cumin and all that stuff off of this one. And then the peppery flakes off of all this is awesome. Pretty good. The bacon, that thick cut bacon is good. Those grill grates really help. I've done I've done burgers on the um, regular grates, and you know that they stick on you. When you try to flip them, they try to flip you, try to get on, they stick on you. Them grill grates, they come with this, the, 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 the spatula. You get under it and you flip it, and, it, and it's, it's good. It's awesome. Like I said, I'm not endorsed by anybody. It's just products that I use, and I like it. So, my daughter wants a taste test. She says it's good. All right, guys. So, I'm going to feed the family, get it going, and um, you want a piece, too? I'm telling you guys, it's a working family. So, I'm going to go ahead and make everybody a burger, plate it up, and... Uh, Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit, what is it? The subscribe button. The subscribe button and the like button, guys. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, we'll be plenty of more posts to come. I'm going to have a brisket cook. I'm heading tomorrow to go, or maybe tonight, to go pick up a new drum I just got made. So uh, we're going to make some briskets probably Saturday morning for my daughter's communion. Uh, my daughter Miley is making her communion on Saturday. So I'm going to be making some briskets. I'll walk you up through all the steps, and, uh, and we'll have fun doing it. Hey, 
Y'all have fun. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.